Hey YouTube, it's Sean with the Griffin RC Planes. So in today's video, we got another request. Well, I love the request, man. That's good stuff. The person was reacting to the little short video I put out about the gains using my test demo plane that we had the Octera flying wing just uh, that was set up in the receiver and I was just showing the difference of the gains made for a two meter wide RC airplane compared to in that example it was like 20 inches wide and how my little test plane was just dancing on the table because the gains were so high for that small of a model when it's intended for something over six feet wide and the person said it'd be cool if uh, you, know, you could show us the difference or how to do things so I'm gonna try to show you in real life and then I'm gonna show you on my test plane where you can see things better I have adjustable gains in in this pits FMS pits 1400 millimeter for the gains we're talking about the AS3X that is the gyro that that's the stability that's not safe gyro helps the plane fly it deals with the wind okay the turbulence if a gust of wind pushes a wing up a little bit then the gyro will counteract and push down and and for all three axes for the roll of the plane for the pitch of the plane and for the yaw the yaw is the rudder <clears throat> in this particular setup I've got a six channel receiver that currently has nine channels active. How do you do that? Well, the power of telemetry. I've got, hold on, cheat sheet. Back with my notes. Channel one is throttle. Channel two is the right aileron. Channel three, elevator. Four, rudder. Channel 5 I have set up for safe select. Channel 6 is the left aileron. Channel 7 is aux 2. Channel 8 is aux 3. Channel 9 is aux 4. Alright. Aux 2 I've got assigned to switch H. And that's what I use for thrust reverse. To put the speed control in reverse to stop a rollout on a landing. Aux 3 I have set up on this knob. The top right hand corner of the transmitter you have a knob. That knob is set up for to adjust the gains for the roll and the yaw. And then I have channel 9 aux 4 set up on this lever right back here there's a lever that slides back and forth right here that is for the pitch to adjust the gains Ooh, that was a funny bone it wasn't even funny <clears throat> just like how I had my little test plane jittering because the gains were set so high if those gains were turned down then it wouldn't jitter those two channels that I have auxiliary 3 and auxiliary 4 which is channel 8 and 9 that adjust the gain values you know if this was set up for that little test plane I could turn the knob and lower the gains and then it wouldn't jitter so like I said uh, earlier in another video I haven't flown this plane all that much maybe 10 or 15 times that's why it looks nearly new still and the flights that I have had has been you know trial test drives test flight test flights trying to fine-tune things so that's why I have the those uh, two channels assigned for game trim then once I figure out what I like for the uh, for the gains for the roll pitch and yaw then I can assign those two extra channels for the gains on the safe select all three axes for the safe no 
two axis for the safe and three axis for the AS3X. So let's say you got your uh, let's say you get your gains fine tuned. Once again, the gains is the sensitivity of the gyro. A gust of wind pushes a wing up, then the gyro is going to counteract the gust of wind and push it back down. Too high of a gain, it would react too fast. Too low of a gain, it would react so slow that by the time it reacted, the gust of wind is long gone. Okay, if that makes any sense. So let's say you get the AS3X gains fine-tuned, then you can switch your available channels over to adjust the gains on the safe. You know, let, let's say you really want to use safe, which I feel there's nothing wrong with it. Well, if you're a, let, let's say you're flying upside down and the sun gets in your eyes and, and you want to use safe to right side the plane up, well, if the gains for the for the the roll of the safe is too low, then it would just slowly help you. If they're fast, it'll react too fast. Okay, so the gains for the for the uh, the safe select work just like the gains for the AS3X. So. I'm going to power up the plane here, try to show you what little bit I can, see the reaction on the pits here, and then I'll put in the exact number of channels into the receiver on my test plane, and I'll show you guys how to get a six channel receiver to use nine active channels. Okay, here we go. All right, so. DX9, we'll turn it on. And we need to power up the FMS pits, 1400 millimeter. I run a 6S 4500 50C pack. Notice the three dances. So we have aileron, rudder, elevator. Throttle cut off. I gave it a little bit of gas, no propeller, to activate the AS3X. This is the knob that adjusts the gains for the ailerons and the rudder. Then this is the slider for the elevator gains. Right now I'll turn the gains all the way down all the way down for uh, That kind of gets on your nerves at times. The gains are all the way down for the for the ailerons and the rudder. And we'll shake the plane like a little bit of wind. Can't hear anything. I'm gonna turn the gains to max. I turn the gains to max for the roll and yaw. You can hear the ailerons going crazy now. Let's turn the gains to middle before she starts talking again. A little bit less. All right. Turn the gains all the way down. be no volume now. The gains are all the way down for the for the rolling yaw. Nothing. Dryer. Doing laundry. Alright. Now we'll turn the gains down for the elevator. Watch the elevator here. 
don't see anything, you don't hear anything, I'm going to slide the slider to max. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but, it, but it's moving. So that's why I'm going to do the same setup on my little test plane. Six channel receiver, let me show you. One thing I didn't show you, what the uh, auxiliary 2H switch was set up for was the thrust reverse. Since there's no propeller, I got one of my little stickers here. So we'll turn the throttle cut off. Alright, let me make sure I get this in a shot here. This switch here I've got with the red flip it back to go backwards. Now the motor's going the other direction. Forward to go forward. Backwards to go backwards. We're going backwards. And we're going forward. I want to show you guys one more thing. I'm going to put the prop back on it because I'm going to disassemble it and I'm going to leave the prop on. But I've got the throttle cut on. Alright, I'm going to put the prop on real quick and show you guys something else that's good to know. And because, I'm, because I have thrust reverse, I use a, a nut that is a locking nut. And it, had, it has nylon inside of it. The more you tighten it down, then it gets to, to the nylon. And that is really good to have when you're using the thrust reverse because I personally have accidentally hit the switch while I'm flying and what did that do? Spun the nut right off the prop. And that is a, that was a bad day, that, that was in the beaver. By the time I figured out what was going on it was already coming down and I had to land a whole lot faster than I wanted to. Alright, we're golden right there. I'm going to show you the throttle real quick in, in slow mo. That's going forward. There's our thrust reverse. Throttle cut is on. Okay, so you're flying along. You've throttled back 100%. It won't, it won't, it's hard to, hard to spin, right? It wants to fight you. There you go. With the smart speed controls, the avian speed controls, you can change if you want the prop or the motor to freewheel when you're not giving it throttle, or if you want it to motor with the throttle only. For example, if you lowered your throttle to 10%, then the propeller would immediately start spinning at 10%. Or do you want it to just freewheel in the wind? Those are they're good cases and bad cases to do that, and, and there's reasons why. We'll do some videos about that. All right, everybody, to show you the adjustable gains on my demo plane, that's why I color um, each control surface has a different color on it so we can look for something. I used uh, the NX8 for this uh, setup, and we've got three adjustable gain channels with a six channel receiver and it is using um, oh it's using seven right now and it could use it, it, it could potentially use a total of 13 it can use seven over what it has we'll go more into that at another time but here we go the ailerons for the roll 
We have adjustable gains for it. For the elevator, we have adjustable gains. And for the rudder. For the roll, the ailerons, I have the knob set up. And for the elevator, I've got switch F and the rudder switch E. So right now, we're going to uh, pretend like we give it a little bit of uh, gas to activate the AS3X. And I'll turn the gains all the way down for the roll, which is turning the knob to the left. Turn the gains off. And you can see that there's nothing. I'll gradually start turning the knob up. Right now, I'm at full blast on the game. I'm gradually going back down to nothing. All right. Right now, the gains are off for the rudder and the elevator. You don't hear any noise. You don't see anything moving around. I just turned the elevator to halfway. Now the elevator is on full gain. This is not on a knob, it's on a three position switch. So it has off, middle, and high. And you can set all those to whatever you want. This is high for the elevator. This is, uh, hold on. This is no elevator. This is the middle setting. This is the high setting. Middle setting. Elevator off. The rudder is off. The rudder is now in the middle section. Now the rudder is in the high setting. We'll put the rudder in back in medium. And the rudder off. So now everything is off as far as the gains. So there's a quick look on the adjustable gains. So that was a little look at uh, gain and gain adjustments on the AS3X and using nine channels with a six channel receiver. And we have many more videos to go covering that subject alone. But that was just in a, in a nutshell. Well, hey, look here, guys. If any of my videos have helped you out or given you a little entertainment, click the subscribe and like button and share it with your friends. And leave me a comment and a suggestion that those are working out greatly, if that's even the right way to say that. It's working out good. So keep them coming. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you'll see me here.